Norway's wireless charging roads. The sale of electric cars in Norway overtook those powered by petrol, diesel, and hybrid engines in 2020, with German automaker Volkswagen replacing US-based Tesla as the top battery vehicle producer. Oslo, Norway will be the world's first city to install wireless charging roads for electric taxis, in a bid to make a zero-emission cab system by as early as 2023. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. Battery Electric Vehicles BEV, accounted for 54.3% of all new cars sold in Norway in 2020. This is a world record compared to the 42.4% in 2019. Just a decade ago, electric vehicles only made up 1% of the general market, according to the Norwegian Road Association. Norway, where the economy is heavily dependent on oil production, aims to be the first nation to end petrol and diesel car sales by 2025, exempting all electric vehicles from the taxes levied on those that are fossil fuels dependent. This policy has turned the country's auto market into a laboratory for automakers seeking a path to a future without internal combustion engines ICE, and it has pushed new brands and models to the top of the US bestseller lists in recent years. While BEV sales had exceeded the 50% mark in individual months, 2020 was the first time in a year that fully electric cars sold more than the total volume of ICE models. BEV sales accelerated in the final months of 2020 and reached their highest level since December with a share of 66.7% in the automotive market. Volkswagen's Audi brand topped the 2020 ranking with its e-tron sport utility and sports car, the most popular new passenger car in Norway last year, pushing Tesla's medium-sized Model 3, the 2019 winner, to second place. According to industry analysts and car dealers, EV sales will continue to grow in 2021 as more models are launched. The total number of all new car sales in Norway in 2020 was 141,412, of which 76,789 were all electric. Cars with only diesel engines have fallen from a high of 75.7% of the entire Norwegian market in 2011, to just 8.6% last year. With electric vehicles becoming increasingly important on the roads and charging capacity still an issue, Norway has developed a smart foresight solution for its taxi fleet called Electric City. The Nordic country has already committed to making all new cars sold from 2025 onwards electric, and intends to build a fully emission-free taxi service to meet its lofty goals. Especially with charging time and efficiency limiting factor for electric commercial vehicles, they charge taxis wirelessly via the taxi rank they sit at while taxis wait to be rented. This solves some core challenges in several ways. No need to hunt out an available charger, no need to wait separately for a charge and to be hired, and no need to plug in or unplug when a fare arrives, all in which to save precious time and which to earn. After all, in industry, time is money. Charging is done through a process called induction to make charging on-site easier. Charging plates are installed under the street where taxis are parked, and there is a receiver in each taxi. This means that up to 75 kilowatts can be charged completely wirelessly. Induction charging works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, whereby an electrical charge sent through a thick coil of wire is used to generate an electrical current. The force in turn generates an electric current in a second coil at a certain distance. The process requires that the device being charged be relatively close to the coil, which is why the process is sometimes referred to as near-field charging. However, since it's not exactly connecting a cable, setup between a taxi and a static location is relatively straightforward. As long as the positioning of the vehicle is moderately accurate, this can easily be achieved by normal parking. Of course, such a process would have limited green benefits if the electricity supplied to taxis was not already from a green source. Electric cars can be much more environmentally friendly than their petroleum equivalent, but only if care is taken that the electrical sources are better for the environment than the gasoline they are replacing. Fortunately, Norway also has the combination of hydropower and wind power, one of the most environmentally friendly power sources in any country in the world, as well as the world's highest ownership rate of electric vehicles. What do you think about Norway's wireless charging roads? 
Do you think it should be globally adopted? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.